Welcome everyone to Move With Midnight. I'm Midnight, I'll be working out this next hour. Be careful if you have any injuries or limitations, you can always modify. You can also take breaks whenever you need to. We're gonna burn out a muscle, fatigue it, maybe get to that shaky state, but get to that state where you have to take a break, pound it out, stretch it out, then get back into it as soon as you can, yeah? But no shame in shaking out, that means you're doing it right. Let's start with our warm up. Bring your shoulders up and back. Bring your arms out to a nice wide second position. Belly buttons in, knee lifts right and left. Lifting up and up. Get the knees to hip height or higher. Nice pointed toes on the bottom, dancer feet. Suck in the core. Keep that chest lifted. Arms too high, fifth, right above. I'll be using ballet terms in this session. Does not mean you have to know what I'm talking about. Just follow along, you'll pick it up pretty quickly. Pull down the arms. Arms go down as knee comes up. We're using this warm up just to get that body moving. So if you need to move at a different pace than me, that's fine. If you need to modify at any time, that's fine as well. Just keep moving, we wanna get the heart rate up. Good, and breathe. Add a twist, elbow to opposite knee. We're wringing out that core. Slice the elbow across the midline. Aim it to the outside of the opposite knee. Good, keep it going for eight, seven, four, three, squat it down and up, down and lift. All right, feet are hip width distance apart. Sit the weight back in the heels. Flex your toes up towards your forehead. Keep that chest lifted like you're staying back in an imaginary chair. Pulse it down. All right, keep it right here. I'm turning to the side so you can see. We're using small controlled movements. So I want you to go down to your lowest squat and move an inch from there. Super teeny tiny. Full range down and up, down and squeeze. Good, squeeze the glutes at the top, press your hips forward every time those legs straighten. You can keep that chest lifted. Breathing into those legs, you should feel them start to warm up. Pulse it down. That's it, how low can you go? Feel that fire, that burn start to send to the top of the thighs already. Yes. Good, keeping it right here. Bring the arms up to high fifth position. Whew. You should start to feel that blood coursing through the veins. That heart rate starting to build. That's it, looking so strong, dancers, already. Good, keep the pulse. Heel toe your feet out to a nice wide second position. Heels go wide, toes point out. Now you want the knees to line up over the second and third toenail. Lift your chest up so your shoulders stack over ribs, over hips. Full range down and up, down and squeeze. That's it, yes. And make sure those knees are not buckling in. If they are, I want you to adjust your feet. We want them to line up right over those toenails. Pulse it down. We are burning into those muscles already, heating up the legs. They're gonna do a lot of work for us today. We need them nice and warm. Suck in the belly button. Keep that core strong. That's it, full range, down and up. Breathing into it. If you need to cut that range of motion, you can cut it to be a little bit shallower. Maybe those legs are already starting to give out. That's fine. You go to your range of motion. Go to your limit, wherever that is for you today. Try not to judge it, just honor it. Yes. Pulse it down. You're almost there with that warm up. Good. Float the arms up to high fifth position. Oh yeah, can you feel that burn? If you don't, sink it down one inch lower. Yes, right there. Teeny tiny, only about an inch. An inch is about the length of a paper clip. So it's very small. Doesn't have to be big to be effective. Can we float those heels up off of the ground? Oh yeah, you might already start to feel that shake start to set in. You're almost there, last eight, seven, Hold in four, three, two, hold it down right here. Squeeze into the legs, isometric hold. Bring the arms out wide, nice wide second position. Lift the heels up one inch higher. That's it. Good squeezing, breathing. Arms come down, raise them up to that high fifth position again for eight, 
seven. You're almost there. Four, three, two, and done. Yeah, stand it up, shake it out. Nice work, everybody. Shake out those legs. Whew, deep breath in and out. Grab onto your weight. You'll be needing a set of heavier weights, which is around five pounds, and lighter weights, around two to three pounds. Starting with those biceps, bring your feet into a first position, elbows in, bicep curls up and down, lift and lower. Now at any time, you can stick right here. Just focus on those arms, press the weights at that 45 degree angle, and we always are pressing up with control. We're never swinging up with momentum. Imagine like you're underwater. Squeeze into that bicep as hard as you can. Good, if that feels good, add a plie with it. Plie means to bend. So we're just bending those knees, heels stay down. That's it. Press, squeeze, pulse it. Teeny tiny pulses. Yes, imagine like there's a countertop to the sides of you. You're pushing up against that countertop. Add that extra resistance. Full range, up and down. Now if you need more resistance, you can also float those weights out. Float the elbows away from the rib cage. That'll also add a little more resistance to the spice of curl. Can you go wherever you need to go to feel it in your body? Pressing, squeezing, breathing. That's it, keep that head lifted high. Don't start to hunch over here, keep everything tall. Pulse it in the middle. Press, press. So remember that imaginary countertop. Really squeeze, contract that bicep as hard as you can. Good. Keep the pulse, bring it in front. Flip the weights. Palms face the midline, thumbs towards the sky. Tuck the elbows in nice and tight, and make sure those elbows are a little bit in front, not tucked behind you. Hammer curls. Hammer curls. Those weights are parallel to each other, and we're pressing in front of our bodies. And squeeze into that bicep as hard as you can. Imagine like there's an orange in your elbow and you're juicing that orange every single time you bring those weights up. Squeeze out all that juice, squeeze it. Good, breathe. Pulse it in the middle. Should start to feel that burn in the biceps. If you don't feel that burn by now, I want you to float those elbows in front a little bit more. Add that resistance. That's it. Eight, seven, hold in four, three, two, hold it down right here. Flip the weights, palms face the sky. Bring them back out to that 45 degree angle. Straighten the legs, serve it out and in, out and in. Finale for those biceps. You're pressing the weights out to ear height or higher, if you can. And you always wanna serve a little bit in front of you, never behind you. Option to add that releve up and down, lift, squeeze, that's it. The further out wide you go, the more in the biceps. So don't think of pressing up as much as pushing out. Pulse it up, that's it. Little tiny bends and presses with those elbows. Can you go out one inch further? Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Woo, roll it out. Good, we're coming down to a nice long lunge. One foot in forward, other foot back behind. Press back through that heel, knee over the ankle. Hinge over, suck the core in tight, weights come down, back rows up and down. Lift and lower. Now these back rows, you're squeezing the weights up towards your hip bones. Elbows are narrow. And you're squeezing through your shoulder blades. Imagine like you have a grape in between your shoulder blades and you're squishing that grape every time. We're contracting through the back. Keep the neck nice and long and don't let the head hang heavy. Pulse it at the top. Lift, lift. So I'm engaging this pulse by squeezing my shoulder blades together. Make that crease down your spine as deep as possible. Squeeze, squeeze. 
full range up and down. Lift and lower. Lift. That's it. Good breathe. Good. I'm going to face the back just so you can see what I mean by squeezing those shoulder blades together. Do you see how much they pull in towards that midline? Pull them in together. So you're not just moving the elbows. This is me moving the elbows without engaging the back. I'm really engaging by squeezing those shoulder blades together. The arms are just along for the ride. Pulse it at the top. Lift, lift. Super small. Small controlled movement. Good, check in with that core. Is that belly still pulling up and in? Full range up and down, lift and lower. Good, bring that back foot in, switch sides, other side. Breathe and squeeze. Make sure that knee's right over the front ankle. Open up the scarecrow, up and down. Turn to the front so you guys can see this. We're boxing out those arms. We wanna bring the weights underneath the elbows, trying to get the elbows up to shoulder height. That nice 90 degree angle. Pulse it up. Now I know those weights wanna drop the arms. You think you're pulling them down, resist it. Resist that rebound. Think of lifting them higher every time. Full range up and down, lift and lower. That's it. Again, know that those breaks are there for you. Or you can always drop those weights. You can do this motion without the weights. It's still gonna work into that back. Getting into the upper back. Pulse it up. That grape is now at the base of your neck. So don't let the shoulders come up to the ears. Keep them pulling towards that midline. Yes. I know you should be feeling that burn by now. Full range up and down. Lift and lower. Bring that back foot in. Feet together, still stay hinged over. Open up to fly, fly. Squeeze. You can resist the temptation of just throwing those weights up there. We don't want to use momentum. We want slow, controlled. Maybe that cuts your range of motion. Maybe you only go up this far. That's okay. You go as far as you can by squeezing those shoulder blades together and back. Engaging through those big lats and rhomboids. Four. Three, then we pulse it up in two. Pulse it at the top for eight, seven, little tiny lift. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, roll it out. Whoo, nice work. Put those heavier weights down. Let's grab onto our lighter weights. We're going into triceps. So keep those feet together, same exact position. Little plea in the knees, hinge over at the hips. Bring the weights to your hip bone. Squeeze the elbows back behind. Lift up the weights high, pinkies towards the sky. Lift up one inch higher, up, up. So I want my weights to be above my bum. If they're down here, that's okay. But if you can, try and press them up a little bit higher. See if you can hinge over a little bit deeper, then push them up another inch. Triceps, they can burn out easily and quickly. Again, take those breaks when you need to. Suck that core in strong. Press it in and out, in, out, in, out. I'll show you from the back. It's like you're trying to clap your hands back behind you. Like you're moving those weights on a countertop, pressing in towards that midline. One lift, one in. Lift, in, lift, in. Oh yeah, I feel that burn. It's setting in there. Woo! Breathe into that heat. That's it. Toning out those arms. Little circles up and around. Small and controlled. Energy all the way through the arm. As we get tired, we start to bend the elbows. Resist that, try and lengthen through the arm. So we're asking those muscles to lengthen as they strengthen. Other way. How small and how high can you get those circles? Can you lift them up a little bit higher? It's okay if the answer is no, but just trying. Trying is what's going to strengthen us. Change it to a bend and press, a bend, press. Press, it's a micro bend in the elbow. It's a big giant punch through those knuckles. That's it. Punch, punch. You're almost there with those triceps. Yes, one inch higher. Speed it up. Punch, 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 punch. That's it. Breathe and squeeze. Yes, feel that burn. 16, 15, 14. Last eight. You're done in four, three, two, and one. Whoo, done with those triceps, that is. 
We're coming back out to a nice wide second. Heels wide, plie, bend into those knees. We still gotta do those shoulders. Roll them up and back. Bring the weights right in front of you. Palms face that midline. Little tiny lift. Up, up. Good, we're moving just an inch. So small controlled movement. Try and keep the weights at shoulder height or higher. And resist the temptation, the temptation of leaning back. Okay, we want everything stacked. Shoulders over ribs over hips. Lengthen nice and long. Like someone has a hold of your wrist and they're pulling them longer. That's it, keep the shoulders rolling down the back. Press it in and out, in, out, in, out. That's it, little tiny again, like you're sliding those weights on a countertop out in front of you. Check in with that core. Is it still pulling in, squeezing in? One lift, one in, lift, in. Trying those little L's out in front of you. Breathing, squeezing, burning. Circles up and around. Try and draw the outline of a quarter. Small. If it's more like a scribble or a shake, that's okay. Again, as long as you're trying, you're strengthening. Other way, little circles. It's not about feeling graceful. It's not about feeling like a ballerina in this hour. It's just about trying, training like one, and trying to get those results of that nice long lean dancer tone. Hold the weights, flip them, flip, flip. Gain into those rotator cuffs, rotating through that shoulder joint. Yes, that's it. Squeeze, breathe. You're almost there. Let's speed it up. Twist, twist, twist. Oh yeah. Can you go one inch higher? A little bit deeper for 16, 15, 14. Next day's long. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, roll it out. Nice strong work, everybody. Set it down really quickly. We're coming down, finishing out, getting into our chest, doing some push-ups. By all means, you can do these on your knees if you need to. Lowering down and up, slow. Down for two and up for two. Lowering that nipple line right in between the thumbs. Pressing that floor away from you. Speed it up to tempo. Down and lift. Now, if you just go down this far for right now, that's okay. Maybe you only bend your elbows a couple inches, that's all right. Maybe you can drop all the way down, that's all right too. You go to your range of motion. Pulse it at the bottom. Pulse, pulse. You guys are almost there. Finish out those arms as strong as you can. I know they're tired, so are mine. For eight, seven, we're in it together. Yes, you can. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, set it back. Nice work. Woo, deep breath in and out. Press your armpits down towards that floor. And shift side to side. Breathe into it. Nice, strong work, dancers. Curl it up. Let's stretch out those arms, they earned it. Take that arm, pull it across. Rotate the shoulder down and away. Yes, you want to get a stretch all the way over the outside of that shoulder. You can also tuck the ear, get a stretch on the side of the neck. Give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. Grab the elbow, snuggle it behind the head, push back with the head, look up and under that arm, and then extra, extra side body lean. You want to feel a stretch from the tip of the elbow down the back of that tricep, maybe into the side of the rib cage. Can breathe, open it up, expand. Good, switch sides, tuck your toes under so you get a stretch in your feet. If that stretch becomes too intense, you can always drop it down whenever you need to. Left arm pulls across, roll the shoulder down and away. Good, stretching out that shoulder and option to tuck the ear. So we just heated up, shredded into that muscle fiber. Isolated, concentrated on those muscle fibers, those big muscle groups, and burned into them. Tie yourself on the back, elbow, pull it back behind, press back, look up and under. We now want to stretch out those muscle fibers, encourage him to grow back, build back stronger in that long lean dancer tone. The whole theory of bar. Last eight. Seven, four, three, two, and done. Nice job, you guys. Let's move on to our calves. Okay, 
You need a chair for this. If you don't have a chair, you can always grab onto a wall or something sturdy instead just to help you out with some balance. Set that chair up next to you or whatever you have. We're going to a first position parallel. So big toes are together, heels are together, legs are zipped up. Squeeze into your glutes, belly button pulling in towards the spine, head towards the sky. Releves, up and down. Now releve is just a fancy word <laughs> that means to rise. So we're just rising up on those tippy toes. Press your weight towards that big toe mound. Speed it up, lift, lift. Heels touch the ground every time. I'll turn to the side so you guys can see. So we're trying to get those heels down every time, pushing up as high as you can. That's it. Pulse it at the top. Lift it up, 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 up. Teeny tiny lifts up as high as you can on those tippy toes. Eight, seven, hold in four, three, Two, hold it up. You stay up on that releve. I'm gonna plie my knees. Go down as low as you can. And I'm trying to get my tailbone to line up with my heel line. So I don't want it sticking back. I don't want to be arched forward. Everything lined up right here. Little tiny lowers down, down. This is our classic chair position. Squeeze through those legs. Again, we're moving just an inch. So I want you to go down as low as you can and then move one inch from there. It's not a full range. We're working that bottom most range of motion, wherever that is for you. That's it. Zip those legs together, push the knees in, use those inner thighs. Good. Change it to down hold, you drop down hold. Little lift down hold. Drop hold. Drop hold, that's it. Like someone has a hold of your tailbone and they're pulling it down towards the core of the earth. You have to stop that momentum with your legs. Drop hold. Drop hold. Yes. Single it out. Ooh, yeah, feel that burn. You can take those rests when you need to. That means you're doing it right. You wanna to get to that place of fatigue. You wanna burn out those muscles, push to that limit, but then honor it when we do by taking that rest. I'm trying to get through all of it so I can see you guys through. But that also means I could go lower. I don't want you to follow me. I want you to push to your limit where you go as low as you can and you have to take that break. Yes, change it to down hold, drop hold. Little lift, drop hold. Drop hold, that's it. Drop hold, good. Down hold, can you go a little bit lower? Feel that burn in those calves and into those quads, top of the thigh. Drop hold. Keep the chest lifted. Keep breathing. Single it out for eight, seven. That's it. Hold in four, three, two. Hold it down. Arms up to high fist position. Try and find that balance. Squeeze into it. Roll the shoulders down the back for eight, seven. Four, three, two, little break. Stand it up, give a quick shake. We're going to that first position, turned out. Heels in, toes pointed out on that diagonal. Releve slow, up and down, lift. Try and control this releve. Like you're underwater, smooth out that up and down. Nice fluid motion, good. Check in with that belly. Imagine like you're trying to button up a tight pair of pants around that midsection. You want that sucking and feeling the entire time. Relax the shoulders, relax any tension in your jaw. Speed it up to tempo. Lift, lift, lift. Yes, calves, they're intense to isolate. If they've hit their limit, you can always take that break. You can always go a little bit shorter. Pulse it up. Pulse, 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 pulse. Make sure the ankles aren't rolling out. Press over that big toe mound. Yes, 16, 15, 14. Eight, seven, six. Hold it at the top, hold it. Woo, plie those legs, bend the knees. Heels come together, diamond out the legs. And go down as low as you can. You want that tailbone right over your heel line. And we're not sticking out, we're not hinging forward. That's it, little tiny lowers. Down, down. Knees are going out of that diagonal. Keep the chest lifted. 
crown of the head, point up towards the sky. Try and burn to those thighs one more time, yeah? That's it. Little tiny lowers. Small controlled movement. Now if you need to go down to flat foot, you can go down to flat foot. You can do this whole set on flat foot, that's fine. You go wherever you need to go for your body. Otherwise you're up on that relevate position. Yep, bring those legs a little bit deeper, a little bit more. Whew. Try to get to that quiver state. Can we get there? Let's try. Change it to down hold. You drop down hold. A little lift down hold. Yes, it should burn. It's hard, it's intense. It should be intense. If it were easy, it wouldn't be doing anything for us. It's okay, let it be hard. It's supposed to be hard. We're challenging our bodies, challenging those muscles. That's the only way they're gonna change. Is if we have to shred those muscle fibers apart, we can build back stronger, leaner, toner. Let's single it out. Down, down, whew, yes. Breathe, breathe. That's it, looking so strong, dancers, I know. You should be on fire by now. Change it to down hold, drop down hold. Little lift down hold. Drop hold. Drop hold, yes. Can you go to your range of motion? How low can you get that tailbone? Go there, take that rest when you need to. Single it out for eight, seven, four, three. Pulse it at the bottom. Pulse, 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 pulse. Teeny tiny bounces. Suck that core in. 16, 15, 14. That's it, you're almost there. Hold it at the bottom, hold. Arms come to high fist position. Try and find that balance, squeeze into it. That's it, for four, three, two, and one. Stand up, shake it out, quick, one last thing. Going out to a nice wide second position. Plie down. We're gonna burn into those thighs right away, so if you can, relevate up on those big toe mounds. Little lower down, down. That's it, this is a shorter set, but those legs are already fatigued. You should start to feel that burn automatically, instantaneously. Yes, change it to down hold, drop down hold. Little lift down hold, and again, if you need to, drop those heels. Do this set right here, that's fine. Drop hold, drop hold, oh yeah. I feel that quiver setting in, how about you? Single it out, down, down, Whew, and breathe. We're almost there, dancers, looking so strong. I know you're working. I can feel you with me. Yes. Pulse it at the bottom. Pulse, 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 pulse. Oh man, we're almost there. See that finish line with this thigh set. 16, 15, 14. Eight, hold in four, three, hold it down, hold. Bring your arms to the high fist position. Can we find that balance? Can we sink down one inch lower for 16, 15, 14? Yes, one inch lower, heels up a little bit higher. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, yes, stand it up. Nice work, shake it out. Give a little rub in those legs. Ah, and breathe, let's stretch out those legs, they earned it. Grabbing onto one foot, knees together, hips do a little tuck under, we don't want that booty sticking out. Press the hip forward, then pull that heel towards the glute. Knee pointed straight down towards the ground, breathe, and stretch out the top of that thigh. Nice inhale and exhale. That's it, step that foot back behind, stretch through the calf, lengthen through that back leg. And you can bend that back knee where you press the back heel down, getting the lower calf, soleus and Achilles. Switch it out, other side. Grabbing onto that other foot. I'll turn around so you can see the back side of that. Knees together, hips tuck under, pull the heel up towards the glute. Roll the shoulders down, keep everything nice and lifted. Good, that knee sometimes wants to float away. Try and keep it in towards that midline. Stretching through that quad. Good, step it back. Yes, stretching through the calf, opening it up, breathing. Slight bend in that back knee as you press the back heel. In that lower calf, soleus and Achilles. Last eight. Nice inhale and exhale. Four, 
three, two, and one. Good, stand it up. All right, we're gonna move on to our seat. Burn into those glutes and get into the hamstrings. So, different levels. You can start upright right here. You can back it up, hinge at the hips, gently place your hands on that back of the chair. Be right here. Third option, stand all the way back, hinge over, just the fingertips touching. Bend the knee, toes up towards the sky. Up to you of where you go. I'm gonna start right here so we can cue you through and show you what I want you to do. Bend that right knee. Now put your right hand on that right glute and squeeze that glute. Squeeze, squeeze. So we're isolating the squeeze of this cheek. Have a slight bend in your knee and you're poking your toe back behind you wherever you are. Suck the core in tight. So if I tell you to move your leg, a lot of times we'll get into this action. It's not that big. We don't want to get into our lower back. I want you to think about squeezing through this cheek. The leg is just along for the right. See how small that is. So focus more on the squeeze of this glute right here. That's it. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze the knee in and out, in, out, in, out. I'll show you what it looks like from the back. In, out, in, out. We're sliding that knee like it's on a countertop in towards the midline. That's it. One lift, one in, lift, in. And all this is coming from that booty, coming right from that glute. Don't lock out this knee. Keep this knee soft. We're gonna be working the standing leg as well. It may give out before the working leg. That's okay, that's normal. Little circles up and around. Draw that dime-sized circle with your kneecap. All right, I'm gonna get into it with you guys. Here we go. Little, tiny, small, controlled. Circle other way. Keep your hips square to the ground. You don't want that hip to open up. Knee points forward. That right hip stays pulling down. Shine those hip bones in front of you. Back to single lift, up, up. Again, that lift is by squeezing the glutes. Relax your shoulders. Don't start to hunch down in your upper body. Keep everything lengthened. Yes, pulse it at the top. Little press, 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 press. Teeny tiny contractions through that glute muscle. 16, 15, 14. Hold an eight. Four, three, two, and hold. Good, extend that leg back behind you. And keep the hips square, don't let that hip open up. Squeeze through that glute. Up, up. If you need to, again, put that hand back on that cheek. Make sure you're engaging through this glute muscle. It's not a full range, and it's not about kicking your leg up back behind you. It's about squeezing as hard as you can through that glute. That's it, looking strong, dancers. Slide it in and out, in, out, in, out. And I'll show it from the back. Slide that toe in towards the midline. Teeny tiny. Get only about an inch. Try to make it that really tiny movement. One lift, one in. Lift, in. Grind that little L. That little corner with your big toe. Length of the leg. Try to extend that knee nice and long. Little circles up and around. Yes, how small and how high can you get that circle? Maybe it's outlining a dime or outlining a pinpoint, it's so small. Circle other way. If it's shaky or bigger than a pinpoint, that's okay. As long as you're trying, just try to make it as small as you can and you're doing what you need to do to strengthen. Back to single lift, lift it up, up, up. Like someone has a hold of that ankle, lengthen that leg a little bit longer. Pulse it up. Lift, 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 lift. Squeeze through that gluten hamstring. You're almost there. 16, 15, 14. Hold an eight. Hold it at the top. Squeeze. Last isometric hold. Yes, squeeze through that glute. Press into it. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, shake out those hips. A little bit of relief, a little bit of love before we hit that second side. Flipping this chair around. We're gonna get to that other side, get to that other leg. 
bend the knee. Whatever level you started on the first side, start on that level for this side just to work towards balancing yourself out. And put that left hand back on that glute and squeeze through the cheek. Squeeze, squeeze, soften the standing leg. Now this leg is fatigued, it just works. It may not last as long on this side and that's okay, that's normal. Squeeze, squeeze, contract your core. Breathe into it. Point through those toes. Don't let that foot just hang floppy. Really point. If your foot is cramping, you can always flex that foot as well. Just have energy through those toes. That's it. Slide it in and out. In, out, in, out. Now do a little check-in with that belly button. Imagine like there's a flame underneath your belly and you're sucking your belly button up off of that flame, tightening up those abdominal walls. One lift, one in, lift, in, lift, in. Again, show you from the back. You're drawing that little L, that little corner with that kneecap. Circle it up and around. Is this standing leg still soft? If it's not, I need to bend that knee. Small controlled movement. Circle other way. If you're getting fatigued, if you're compromising form, take that break or change levels. The more upright you are, the less resistance. The more hinged over, the more the toe goes up towards the sky, the more resistance. Back to single, lift, lift, lift. Squeeze through that glute and pulse it. Pulse, 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 pulse. Eight, seven, six, hold in four, three, two, hold it. Turn back to the side so you guys can see. We're lengthening that leg. Again, keep the hips square. Don't let that hip open up. Pull that back hip down towards the floor. So it's pressing down, soften through the knee, squeeze through the glute. Lift, lift. And extending nice and long. Breathe. Feel that burn, feel that shake. Maybe starting to set in. Slide it in and out, in, out, in, out. Sliding that toe in towards the midline. Check in with that jaw, relax it away. Melt the shoulders down the back. One lift, one in, lift, in. Drawing that little L back behind you. Don't collapse in the upper body. Even though we're working that lower body, we want to keep the upper body strong through all of this. Circle it up and around. Yes, that tiny circle back behind you. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it in that standing leg as well. Shake it out, pound it out whenever you need to. Circle other way. Can you make that leg go a little bit longer back behind you? Try to stretch it a little bit more, asking those muscles to really stretch as they contract, that eccentric contraction. And single lift, up, up. That's it, dancers, you're almost there. Pulse it up, pulse, 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 pulse. Little contractions through that back glute. Breathe, 16, 15, 14. Hold an eight. Hold it at the top and squeeze. Oh yes, can you lengthen a little bit more? Can you lift that leg up a little bit higher? Four, three, two, and one. Good, step it in. Ooh, shake out those hips. We're not quite done yet. We're flipping this chair around. So you can do this set on the ground without the chair or up against a wall, up to you. We're going into a bridge, laying down onto the floor. If you have that chair, that wall, you're gonna put your feet onto the wall, onto the edge of the chair. Now I'm gonna scoop my hips so they're a little bit closer to that wall, to the edge of the chair. Squeeze through my glutes and lift my tailbone just one to two fist lengths off of the mat. So I'm not coming all the way up here into a yoga bridge. 
different movement. Squeezing the glutes, just covering that tailbone. And I'm squeezing the glutes and pressing my feet down to the chair to lift my hips up just an inch higher. And super small and controlled. Breathe. Feel the backs of those thighs engage right away, getting into the hamstrings and burning right to the backs of the legs. That's it. Suck the core in. Try to relax the neck, relax the upper body. Focus all of the work in that lower body. Breathing. Lift. Lift. Change it to a hold. You go lift, hold. Little down lift, hold. Squeeze, hold. Squeeze, hold. Oh yeah. You should feel that burn deep into those glutes, into those hamstrings. If you don't feel that burn, I need to push your feet into the floor, into the wall, or into the chair a little bit harder. That's it. Single it. Lift. 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 Oh yeah. We are burning into those major muscle groups. We are shredding apart that muscle fiber so it can build back leaner, toner, stronger. It's hard work, it's intense. But we are getting maximum calorie burn and we are strengthening. Up hold, lift hold. Little down lift hold. Squeeze hold. Squeeze hold, yes, contract those muscles as hard as you can. Press, press. Breath, single it out. Whew. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it deep into those muscles. Again, whenever you need to, give yourself that pound out. Just bring it down, give yourself a little shake, a little stretch, come back in as soon as you can. One last set, go lift, hold. A little down, lift, hold. Squeeze, hold. Squeeze, hold, four more. Squeeze, hold. Squeeze, hold. That's it. Last time, single it out. Lift, lift. That's it, can you lift, can you press a little bit deeper, a little bit harder? Pulse it up, pulse, 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 pulse. Little bounces for eight, seven, six, hold in four, three, two, hold it. Isometric hold right here, whoo, yes. Reach those hands up towards the sky. Can you lift up one inch higher? For eight, seven, feel that burn in the legs. Four, three, Two, and one, yes, yeah, set it down, good. Woo, shake out those legs, oh, that feels good. Take that right foot, grab above or below the knee, gently stretch the foot towards your forehead. If you wanna keep this leg on the chair or on the wall, you can lift your hips up to get that shin closer to your forehead, and try to keep it there Woo, as you let those hips settle back down towards the floor. And energy through those toes, either point or flex. Breathing into it. Feels good. Open up the back of that knee, stretch into that hamstring. Be gentle with it. So just contracted that muscle over and over again. We want to lengthen it back out now. Take that foot, cross it over, go into your recline figure four stretch. Bring the side of your shin, side of the calf over your chest. Lengthen your tailbone back down towards the ground so you're really flattening your spine on the mat as you pull that leg in. Option to take this right hand, push this right knee away from you as you pull the ankle in. Just a little bit different area into that hip joint. Nice work, switch to the other side. Taking that left foot, grabbing above or below the knee, gently stretch it towards your forehead. An option to lift your hips up, get that shin closer, and try to leave it there. Ooh, as you set those hips back down. Energy through those toes, either point or flex. That flex foot's gonna get a little bit more stretch into the calf. It's up to you of whatever feels best for your body. Re-nourish those muscles. They earned this stretch. Reward them with it. Breathing. Good, cross it over. That's it. Taking that recline figure four stretch. Trying to lay that shin across, and then bring the tailbone back down, flatten it to the ground. Option to take this left hand, push that knee away from you as you pull the ankle in. Gain relief into that hip joint as well. Nice work, dancers. Bring both knees in, just do a little rock and roll. 
come up to sitting, stretch yourself back. Nice straight legs, arms come overhead. Deep breath in. And reach all the way up and over. Ah. Stretching out those hamstrings. Lengthening through the front of the head. Last eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll it up. Woo. All right, we have made it to our core. We got through those legs. Let's work into the abdominal wall. Go ahead and move the chair away. You don't need that anymore. But grab onto a weight. We're coming all the way down onto the ground. Weight goes up. You can do all of this without the weight or drop the weight whenever you need to. Feet on the ground. We're lifting the upper body only. Up and down. Lift. I'm pressing the weight straight above me. So we're not going on a diagonal here. Just a little bit different movement. We're trying to lift straight up towards the sky. Almost like we have a string on the tip of our nose and someone's pulling us right above. Trying to get those shoulder blades off of the mat. If they don't come off of the mat today, that's okay. As long as you try, you're strengthening. Pulse it up. You go to your range of motion. Don't judge it, just honor it. You go to your limit, wherever that is for you today. Press into it as high as you can. For eight, seven, then we hold it at the top in four, three, two, and hold it. Breathe. One inch higher, four, three, two, and one. Yes, relax it down, nice work. All right, let's get into those lower abs. Toes go up towards the sky. Option to do this in tabletop position as well with those legs, but try it with your toes up. If you don't have the hamstring flexibility and your legs are more out here, you can always bend those knees. And think of lifting the knees straight up towards the sky. Up and down. Otherwise, get those toes straight up. We're doing a reverse crunch. So this is different ugh, than when we do these. These are using momentum, yeah? So we don't want that momentum. We want to tuck our pelvis like we have a dog's tail and we're curling it in between our legs. Engage our pelvic floor into those lower abs. Point through the toes or flex. We're raising straight up above us. Don't let those legs come in. If they come in, it's a little red flag you're using momentum. You have to go straight up towards that sky. Pulse it up. Lift, lift, lift. Try and keep that tailbone lifted off of the mat the entire time. It's super small. I don't care how big it is. I just care that you feel it into those abs. So as long as you feel that burn, whew, you're doing what you need to do. Pulse, pulse. Full range, up and down. Lift, contract, squeeze. That's it, breathe. Exhale on exertion. Every time you squeeze your muscles, exhale. Pulse it at the top, lift it up, 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 up. And super small. Imagine like there's tissue paper right above that big toe. You're gently poking a hole into that tissue paper. Full range lifting up and down. Lift and lower. That's it. Squeeze. Squeeze. Almost there. Pulse it up for eight, seven. Holding four. Three, two, hold it up and squeeze it. Oh yeah, feel those lower abs, feel that tuck of the pelvis. For four, three, two, and one. Good, release it down. Stretch the arms overhead, let that back arch off of the mat. Ooh, get a nice full stretch in the core. Deep breath in and out, but we're not done with those abs. We got upper, we got lower. We now want to get into the oblique. Rock and roll yourselves up. Put your hands underneath your knees. Straighten your arms, lean yourself back. Feel like someone's punching you in the stomach. C-curve that spine, pull in the belly button. 
Take your hands out and see if you can hold this place. If you can't, if your back starts to arch or you flop back, that's all right. Just come up a little bit higher. You can do all of this twisting upright. The further back you are, the more resistance there is. If you can, grab that weight, but twist it out. Twist and twist. Now this twisting, we're trying to get that weight all the way down to the floor. So don't cheat yourself. Really get that twist. Look back behind you and try and tap that weight down every single time. That's it, good, breathe. Get into those obliques, the side of the body. Option to stay here, or you can add a knee lift. That's it. So the direction I'm twisting is the knee that's coming up. Lift, lift. Squeeze. Yes, you should feel that burn. If you don't, can you go back a little bit more? Make sure that belly's still pulling in. Don't arch the back. Keep that nice C-curve. Pulse it over, pulse, pulse. Like you're wringing out that midsection like a wet washcloth. Switch and pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze. Switch it, other side. Switch it, four, three, two. Switch it, four. Switch it, four. Two of each. Switch. 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 Single it out for eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Open up those legs to a butterfly. Roll your shoulders up and back. Lift your heart up. Relax those hip flexors. Breathe into it. Woo, let's balance it out with some back extension work right here. We're going on to our belly. Option to have those arms in superhero position, cactus position, or skydiver. Wherever you are, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your chest up. Keep a nice gap between chin and chest. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hamstrings. Lift up one inch higher, up, up, up. Breathe and squeeze. We're squeezing through that back body. Imagine like that space between your hips and your ribs is an accordion. And you're squeezing that accordion as tightly as you can. That's it. And you can always change wherever your arms are. Maybe you start here and as you fatigue, you come out here. As you fatigue, you go to those cactus arms. Lift, lift, lift. Change it to a hold. You squeeze up, hold. Little down, up, hold. Little down, up, hold. Squeeze, hold. Single it. Up, up. You guys are almost there. This is it. Give it all you got. Hold it at the top for eight, seven. Can you lift it one inch higher? Can you extend those arms overhead? Four, three, two, and one. Oh, relax it down. Deep inhale and exhale. Whoo! Let's push it back into a child's pose. Knees go wide, big toes barely touching. Those hips sink down to the ground. Resting at your third eye center. Breathe into your back body. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Give yourself a moment to relax. Breathe into any soreness, any tightness. Let it melt away. And shift your weight side to side. Whatever feels good here, just make it ooey gooey. This is your time. Start that recovery. Give yourself a moment to thank yourself. A bit of gratitude. Thank your body for all the hard work it just did. All the amazing effort it just put down to this workout. Good, come on up. Flip it onto your back. Let's stretch it out a little bit more. Rolling all the way down. Extend the left leg, bring the right knee in towards the chest. Rotate that ankle around. Ah, fill up the lungs. Let everything relax other way. Strong work, dancers. This is your reward. Renourish those muscles. Let's extend that leg overhead. Grab above or below the knee and gently stretch it towards your forehead. 
If you don't have the flexibility, you can also grab a towel, put it around that foot, and let it assist you in this stretch. Melt away any of that tension. Let it drain out of your muscles, out of your joints. Right hand grabs on the outside of the right leg. Let that right leg fall open to the right side. Left hip stays grounded. Stretch into the inner thigh. Open up the hips. Relax. Breathe. Settle in. Just be present with your body right here, right now. Right leg comes all the way up, falls across the midline, soften the belly, lengthen the spine, recline spinal twist. Shoulder blade stays grounded onto the mat. As you rinse out that midsection. Now if you feel any thoughts, judgments, concerns about the things you maybe couldn't do quite yet today or you wish you could have been stronger, try and release those, they're not going to serve you. Instead, just focus on all the amazing things you did accomplish that feeling of burnout, of giving it your, your all. And let those be the things that sink in to reset and rebuild yourself. Bring that right knee in. Switch it out, left knee comes in, right leg goes down, circle that ankle. Breathing into the body. Feel that workout sink in, other way, rolling the ankle up and around. Straighten the leg, grab it above or below the knee, gently stretch it towards your forehead. Encourage that knee to open up, to lengthen. Back of the knee presses open towards the sky to really straighten that leg as much as you can. Never forcing it, always working with our bodies, not against them. Left hand grabs onto the left leg. Left leg falls open to the left side. Right hip stays grounded. Open up those hips. Stretch with the inner thigh. Can you melt your body into the floor a little bit deeper? Let go of any muscle. You don't need to hold on to this pose. You earned this. This is your time. No one else's. Left leg comes up. Falls across the midline. Soften the belly. Final twist. Option to bend this knee or you can keep it straight, whatever feels best for you. We're rinsing out that midsection. And relax into this. Deep breath. Resetting our bodies. It's not very often we get a chance to reset our mind, body, spirit. Renew as a human being. Take this moment, it's yours. Left knee hugs into the chest. Right knee meets it, hug up into a tight little ball. Sway side to side, massage out that lower back. And rock and roll yourselves up to sitting. We're gonna bring one leg in, one leg out. Tuck that heel in, bring yourself up, shift your weight up and over that heel. Point the knee down to the ground, scoop the hips under like you have a tail tucking in between your legs. Roll your shoulders up and back, shine your heart up towards the sky. Take it all in. Stretching out the top of that quad, that thigh. Switch it out, other side. Tucking that foot in, extending the other leg out, coming up and over, point that knee down to the ground. Roll the shoulders up and back, let it all go. Those muscles just did a lot of work for you. Be proud of yourselves, wherever you were today. Good. Tuck both heels in, come up and over those toes. Stretch the heels down towards the ground. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Bowing down in honor of your work and honor of your practice. Head hangs heavy as you straighten your legs forward fold. Slight bend in your knees, curl up one vertebrae at a time. That is the last thing to come up. Good deep breath in, arms go overhead, fill up the lungs. Deep breath out, release it all down your way. Let go of any tension, any stress, any worries. Again, deep breath in, filling up with all the strength, energy, power that just filled that workout. And now, one more time, deep breath in. Big inhale, stretch up as high as you can. And out. 
Nice work, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me and moving with Midnight. If you want more, check out the other classes. You can also come teach with me or take classes with me live. We'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.